I can't believe that I'm holding this right now. It is the new beauty from Apple, the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And in this video, I am extremely excited to not just unbox it with you, but also to try out the new features like Dynamic Island, the A16 chip, the crazy new stabilization, and of course, the 2X camera function. In case we haven't met before, hi, my name is Ivana and I've been living in India now for almost five years on this channel. If in case you haven't seen it before, I make a lot of travel videos and I showcase my life in India. Hence, a camera and a very strong iPhone is super important for me. I've been an Apple fangirl ever since I started making videos on YouTube. I started making videos when I bought my first Mac back in 2013. I've only had an iPhone throughout all my travels. Most of my pictures on my Instagram are all clicked with an iPhone. Hence, I am just beyond excited with all the new upgrades that are in this iPhone 14 Pro Max. So without further ado, let's get into it and let's see what's inside and how it works. My oh my, I am just in awe of this color because it is such a sexy dark purple. I thought it would be a lot lighter because I had already seen it on the banners over here in Bangalore. Immediately my eyes went to the purple and I was like, oh, that is such a sexy purple. But then in reality, it's actually even a more sexy purple. And actually the sides are also purple. I honestly can't get over how beautiful and unique this color is. The transfer took about two hours. It was actually super, super easy. You just have to connect the two phones. This is my old phone, the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I had this one in Sierra Blue, which was also a beautiful, beautiful color. But then <gasps> this purple, man, wow. It is just wow. I am in awe, love it. Now, I also have a cover here, which is lilac. It looks more gray on camera, I feel, but I have been obsessed with lilac for two years. I am genuinely, genuinely obsessed with everything lilac. When I saw this cover, I was like, Apple, really? Fulfilling all my wildest dreams? Such a beautiful, stunning purple. And then this lilac. I can't. It is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Everything about this iPhone 14 Pro Max is just sexy. I have no other words for it. Super excited to try out how the Dynamic Island works. So I'm going to be testing that over the next few days. I'm actually traveling. I'm also very, very excited to test that stabilization on the camera. And then, of course, the 2X in photo mode. Can't wait to try that. One thing that I can already tell you, it is a beast in speed with that A16 chip. Everything is super fast. It's actually a little, well, significantly faster if you um, take the changes into account from this one. This one was already fast. This is the iPhone 13 Pro Max, but this one is a beast. I'm like, Wow, 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 wow. Apple brought its A game once again. This is like, whoo, this is the creme de la creme of what's available in the market right now. And obviously as a content creator, I am just beyond excited to try out the new iPhone 14 Pro Max. It has been a week of using my new iPhone 14 Pro Max and traveling with it. So I've had proper opportunity to test out all the new features. I have of course been testing the new action mode in the video camera function. And then of course, I've also been testing the 2X photography mode 
and finally the one of the coolest upgrades which i think is definitely making your life a lot easier dynamic island so i think i'm going to start with that one what is dynamic island dynamic island is this part which you see over here in short this is actually a shortcut to so many apps playing in the background so for instance if i'm playing spotify i can see that spotify is playing here if i lock my phone you can see over here that my phone is locked then also if i am putting a timer on I can also access the timer from dynamic island basically I don't have to scroll the tabs of the apps anymore to reach the app that is playing I can just go to dynamic island and see the active apps in the background immediately access them immediately adjust whatever I need and it definitely saves time so it is an upgrade i really really love dynamic island it has made my life so much easier because especially when i'm on the go sometimes i just don't have time to like scroll through all the tabs so sometimes you know an, an app in the background would just be annoying me and i would be doing something else so with dynamic island i am immediately able to access it and adjust it and it just saves time and makes those small small frustrations that you might have throughout the day a lot less so i really really like that then the a16 bionic chip i already mentioned it in my first impressions it is a beast everything happens almost instantly even clicking the pictures i feel it is just a tad faster than the iphone 13 pro max which i have over here that was my previous phone i can feel it i can definitely feel it a lot of people are saying that the iphone 14 pro max is not a huge upgrade from the iphone 13 but i feel you know what the thing is with these tech things even small improvements because you use your phone so much throughout the day it just all adds up so just that little bit of faster you know clicking your pictures uh, creating your videos working through the apps and everything it's just mm, i love it i love it it is definitely making my life a lot easier then the 2x photography mode something that we have definitely been missing it is the perfect mode between you know the macro mode the 3x version and the general the 1x and the 0.5x which is the wide angle it's amazing i've been trying it out and i was like yes thank goodness that apple takes so much feedback because i have definitely been clicking a little bit differently framed pictures because of that mode it has made me see you know the surroundings that i was traveling through a little bit more different also sometimes when i was just very very far away and i just didn't want macro mode but also uh, the one x was not close up enough it was just perfect so yeah definitely enables me to capture more and more versatile shots on the go then finally the biggest upgrade especially as somebody who's mainly a video content creator the stabilization mode or the new action mode in the video function oh oh it's amazing i was traveling in a bus which was extremely shaking and you can literally see my phone shaking in the reflection but the visual the video is just stable it is fantastic i can imagine if you are going to take action shots this is just fantastic i have friends asking me ivana i have an iphone 11 i have an iphone 12 i have an iphone 13 should i upgrade to the iphone 14 or iphone 14 pro max even i have told them iphone 11 12 100 iphone 13 i would say if you plan on buying a new camera but then also you may want to upgrade your phone um just get an iphone 14 pro max because honestly by now i think i'm using my iphone 14 pro max for at least 50 up to 60 percent of my b-roll shots for my vlogs and i never thought i would be doing that because i am so particular about stabilization that is like was my number one pet peeve always with shooting you know with a mobile phone but then also the low light quality of the video and the photography mode has definitely improved significantly we're not necessarily quite there like it is with my canon g7x like that one actually also needs an upgrade by now but yeah it, it is a huge improvement and i just constantly grab my phone my iphone 14 pro max to create the b-roll shots because i'm still waiting for a plug-in for an external mic before i would be able to fully fully vlog and create videos on my iphone but actually it is already quite good i don't know i let you guys be the judge of the sound quality because i might actually be really switching to 
iPhone only creation. Wow, this place is so incredibly surreal. It's a tiny island, but there are rooms for 45 people in total. Um, hello. The slope behind me is no joke. I should have called for a cart, but the views are stunning along the slope. Oh my goodness. This is how I eat everything that I want. I mean, it saves so much space and actually also weight in my luggage. I'm already carrying a drone. I'm carrying a GoPro for, you know, those specialized shots. I have my DSLR, which I'm filming with right now, which is also a big camera. And then I have my Canon G7X, which I normally would be vlogging on. But now that I have the iPhone 14 Pro Max and it has improved so much, I'm like, how can I make my life as a content creator more easy for you also if you are into photography, into videography, not necessarily like completely professional. I think this will save you just so much space in your luggage and so much weight also. I don't think it's necessarily to buy a huge camera anymore. An iPhone 14 Pro Max is just Ooh, it is right up there in terms of quality. It is absolutely amazing. Another upgrade that there is, which might not be relevant for everyone, but for me as a content creator, it is really important, is the cinematic mode. Video has been upgraded to 30 frames per second, which means that if I'm filming now and I want to slow things down, it comes out a lot less choppy. And I already love the cinematic mode on my iPhone. It is just fantastic but uh, now with the 30 frames per second it actually also enables me to take m even better cinematic shots so i am just overall a huge fan girl oh one thing that i have to mention which apple is not necessarily highlighting about the new iphone 14 pro max is that the front camera definitely definitely has a better filter than the iphone 13. i remember even nikki tutorials people were asking her why are you using so many filters on instagram for you know your selfie shots in case you don't know nikki tutorials is a beauty youtuber and she was even saying that the harsh contrast on the front camera of the iphone 13 was just cray cray like honestly you could see every single pore every single dark circle Ooh, it was a little bit too real so yeah with this one i was using a lot of filters for myself also when using the front camera and with this one it has become a little bit more realistic and a little bit more kind to my ego so if you were asking me should i upgrade to an iphone 14 pro max i will tell you the same thing what i would tell my friends iphone 11 iphone 12 100 this is just significantly better like i have no words i've seen my friends shoot on an iphone 11 on an iphone 12 way better way way better and then iphone 13 i would say if you are thinking of buying a new camera for photography and those kind of things just go for an iphone because it saves time it because it's so fast it's definitely faster than using a dslr it saves weight in your luggage and it definitely also is just smaller and just handier to grab out of your pocket so that is my review in short let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below and i'll be happy to answer those based on my experience for now i'm just so happy with my new baby love it oh the color the color oh if you feel more people should see this review make sure to share it with your friends and family i'm quite sure a lot of people are wondering like wait are the upgrades worth it so that's why i decided to also make a video about it if you enjoyed the video you can also put a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel and join 270,000 other subscribers it's free and you'll get a notification whenever i upload my new video which will definitely be a travel vlog for now thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye